Hey, what's up guys? This is CoolBHO3K with another overclocking video, and this time I've done the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Um, this is the UK version that I imported from Hentec because um, I was getting tired of waiting for the Verizon LTE version. Um, so as you can see here, we're at the stock 1.2 GHz speed. Um, let's just do one quick benchmark here in Linpack. As you can see, our speed is about 70 to 80 megaflops in Limpack at the stock 1.2 gigahertz speed. So we got a high of about 75 there, or 75.5. And so if we jump back and set the speed, um, to 1.4 gigahertz and set CPU. You can see that we get about 80 to 90 megaflops in Linpack, which is a really good improvement. So we got a high above of about 88 there. One other thing to note about this kernel is that it does unlock the voltage control panel in set CPU, um, which allows you to control the voltages at every speed. Um, now the trick to, it, to this is to uncheck the set on boot box and um, try to set the voltages as low as possible and press apply. Um, if your phone crashes, just pull the battery and reset it and try again at a higher voltage. Um, the point of undervolting is actually to save battery life. Voltages matter just as much, if not more, than frequencies for your battery life. Um, so if you undervolt the phone, um, then you'll get significant improvements in battery life. Um, usually even more than over underclocking can do. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, undervolting and overclocked kernel for the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. You can find everything in the video description, including a test kernel that you can flash right now, and sources if you're a developer. Thanks uh, for watching. This is CoolBHR3K. See you next time.